mass animal deaths. Now you may be tuning in saying, what, do you, you know, what is this mass animal deaths? What do you mean, Evangelist? Well, for the past few years, there has been a very interesting phenomena happening worldwide, and that is the amount of animals that have been perishing, wasting away mysteriously, some due to disease, uh, and, 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 you know, just for, you know, a number of reasons, a number of factors. Uh, but with that, they, it, it, it's been happening worldwide. So it's not just in one area. It's not just like around Fukushima, you know, or it's not just around some unknown part of the world. No, these are all over. And the reason why it's mass animal deaths is because it's, it's a large number of them. So we're going to go over for the month of July, how many animals have passed away and what the Bible has to say. Why are we seeing all these mass animal deaths? So are you ready? By the grace of God, we are. Say amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, for the month of July, I'm looking at a pretty interesting list here. July 1st, starting with July 1st, 2016, there was a mass fish die-off in a river in Sumy region, Ukraine. July 2nd, 2016, thousands of dead fish were found as a mystery in the coastal waters of Cantazaro, Italy. July 3rd, 2016, several tons of dead fish have been found in a river in Deventor, Netherlands. July 4th, 2016, tens of thousands of dead fish have been found in a river in Quebec, Canada. July 5th, 2016, over 1,000 geese killed due to an avian flu in Tainan, Taiwan. July 5th, 2016, thousands of dead fish wash up on the beaches in Virginia. July 6, 2016, large die-off of fish in a river in Luoyang, China. July 6, 2016, massive die-off of fish in farms, fish farms, in Hangzhou County, China. July 7, 2016, thousands of dead fish found in a canal in Florida. July 8, 2016, over 14,000 ducks. Oh, dear. Ducks. They're expected to be killed due to the avian flu in Ontario, Canada. July 9, 2016, over 100 bull sharks found washed up dead on beaches in Mobile Bay, America. I don't know. It doesn't say the, the state. Mobile Bay, is that Alabama? I'm not sure. I have a live church chat. Maybe somebody will hook me up here. July 13, 2016, over 40,000 birds to be killed due to the avian flu in Friesland, Netherlands. July 14, 2016, large number of seabirds washing up dead is alarming in Victoria, Canada. Che now listen, check out three things here. The area, right? I mean, what part of the world, the type of animal, and the number. It's stunning, my friends. It is, it is stunning. We're going we're gonna to get into what the Bible has to say about all this, okay? July 14, 2016, over 200,000 dead fish have washed up in Craven County, North Carolina. July 15, 2016, over 3,500 ducks are found dead along the River Pilar in India. July 16, 2016, thousands of dead fish litter a beach on Ukaloosa Island in Florida. July 17, 2016, large fish kills in the waters of Senaga Grande de, Sara, de Santa Marta in Colombia. July 18, 2016, masses of dead fish found floating in the waters of Kaminsk, Russia. July 18, 2016, millions of poultry dying from the avian flu across Central Africa. July 19, 2016, a mass fish die-off in fish farms in Phan Ho Province, Vietnam. July 20, 2016, hundreds of dead fish wash up in a mosquito creek in Trinidad de and Tobago. And I actually have viewers in Trinidad and Tobago. God bless you in Jesus' name. July 20th, 2016, 70 dead whales found washed up on a beach in southern Chile. July 22nd, 2016, massive die off of fish in the waters of Kin Ging Province, Vietnam. July 23rd, 2016, over 17 dead dolphins found on a beach in Mira, Portugal. July 25th, 2016, thousands of dead fish wash up on the coast of Mersin, Turkey. 
July 26, 2016, 11 dead turtles found washed up on beaches in Baja, California, Sur, Mexico. July 26, 2016, hundreds of dead fish wash up along the Guadalupe River in Colombia. July 26, 2016, thousands of fish wash up dead as a mystery in a river in Gloucester, England. July 26, 2016, hundreds of thousands of chickens dying from the avian flu across Iraq. Wow. July 27, 2016, Tons, all right, we got into the tons. Tons of fish died due to the heat in Dazu, China. July 27, 2016, thousands of fish died in a pond in Amritsar, India. July 27, 2016, over 91 dead dolphins found washed up this summer on beaches in Bulgaria. Wow, wow. That, I mean, come on, my friends. That, that's, this is a lot of animals, huh? That's a lot of food. July 28, 2016, over 1,500 deer have died due to the anthrax outbreak in Yamal Peninsula, Russia. Now listen, that's just for the, the month of July. I, 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 believe, I, I mean, that's, that's all I got. Now that was from two days ago because that's what I printed out. Um, I want to say, I actually had a, I got to double check. Because again, I meant to give this to you this past Tuesday. Uh, it's Thursday, August 4th. Let's see here. Thought I had another one. Oh, yeah, I do. Right here. Okay. Crazy stuff. Wow. Okay, check this out. This, this, I don't even know if this was on the list. No. No, this was just... No, this... Okay. Okay, so this one came out on the 29th. See, there are some of you probably thinking, how come you don't have headlines for all these? Did you hear how many we just said? That's a lot of paper. Now, I know we already use a lot of paper, but anyway, just do the research because we have all these headlines, and this is just a quick list. It's a stunning list is what it is. And I would literally take the whole broadcast explaining it if I actually had the headlines because I like to read the articles at times. But anyway, I'll talk about this one as well. July 29, 2016, a massive die-off reported at Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. So this, now listen, this is happening in fresh water. This is happening in salt water. This is happening in, uh, in marine sanctuaries. This is happening in, in those closed little, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the places where people could go and check out the little fishies, these aqua, what, what they're called the big aqua marine. The, the aquariums, thank you, Lord. The aquariums, well, it says here, a mass die-off of coral and other sea animals was discovered this week on a reef in the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. This is according to federal officials on Friday. This is from Houston Chronicle. Sports divers discovered the damage Monday on the East Flower Garden Bank about 100 miles southeast of Galveston. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said in a report, divers from the motor vessel Fling were stunned to find green, hazy water Huge patches of ugly white mats coating corals and sponges and dead animals littering the bottom of the East Flower Garden Bank, a reef normally filled with color and marine life. Agency scientists were not immediately available for comment this past Friday. NOAA is recommending that the public avoid diving, fishing, or boating in the sanctuary area. They don't know what caused it. It says here, according to the World Wildlife Federation, it says the Flower Garden Banks reefs are considered one of the healthiest in the region at a time when a quarter of coral reefs worldwide are considered damaged beyond repair and two-thirds are under serious threat. Oh, so this is, listen, this is alarming to even these precious folks that this mass animal die-off took place in the healthiest, one of the most healthiest reefs in the region. Why though? Why, why all these mass animal deaths? Why all the mysterious or maybe not so mysterious mass animal deaths happening worldwide? Now I just gave you the past 30 days approximately. We've been reporting these mass animal deaths, deaths to you for the past few years. Every month. It's out of hand. It's out of hand. Why? What's causing it? Go with me. You got your Bible. I hope you do. We're talking about headlines matching biblical prophecy. Go with me to the book of Zephaniah. There's so many headlines to get into. I, I'm going to do my best with the time allotted right now. Zephaniah, chapter 1. Zephaniah, 
Zephaniah chapter 1. If you're there, please say amen, folks. Amen. Amen. Zephaniah chapter 1. Uh, let's start with verse 2. This is going to... Now, now listen, what we're about to read is going to help us understand why all the mass animal deaths, you know? It's going to help us understand what's causing it. That it's not just some, uh, you know, something that it's not a big deal or, you know, man-made. Because a lot of people like to say it's man-made. It's not something that's just, uh, you know, just in an area on its own. It's something, again, it's worldwide. It's massive. It's been happening for the past few years, and it's biblical. Check this out. Zephaniah chapter 1. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 2 it says here, I will utterly, oh dear, this is the Lord speaking. I have to say this, okay? This is the Lord because it says here in verse 1, the word of the Lord, which came to Zephaniah. And then it goes on to say the son of Cushi and, and uh, you know, all the other, you know, time frame here or the other lineage. So this is the Lord speaking here, okay? Verse 2, I will utterly consume everything from the face of the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, and the stumbling blocks along with the wicked. I will cut off man from the face of the land, says the Lord. I will stretch out my hand against Judah and against all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. I will cut off every trace of Baal from this place. The names of the idolatrous priests, with the pagan priests, those who worship the hosts of heaven on the housetops, and those who worship and swear oaths by the Lord. Oh, dear. That's there. The, 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 the word of the Lord says that there's going to be a consummation of man and beast. And then he, 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 he breaks it down. The Lord breaks it down, friends. He says there's going to be I will consume man and beast. I will consume the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, and the stumbling blocks along with the wicked. That, I mean, we're talking about the, the fish of the sea, right? We just, I mean, this is a coral reef, mass die-off reported at Flower Garden. Uh, not only that, again, for the month of July alone. We've been doing these reports for the past few years. For the month of July alone. We're talking about tons of fish dead in Dazu, China, July 27, 2016. Talking about thousands of fish washed up dead as a mystery in a river in Gloucester, England, July 26. 2016. We're talking about tons of fish. I think I, did I read that to you? I think I said tons of fish dead due to heat in Dazu, China. Thousands of fish dead in a pond in India. Hundreds of dead fish wash up in Mosquito Creek, Trinidad, Tobago. I mean, we just, we just went over the list. This is just for the month of July. Now check this out. He also says, I will consume, okay, he says, I will consume the fish of the sea and the birds of the heavens. All right. What do we have here as far as birds go? I know I just read some. This is crazy. I mean, listen, it's not crazy. It's biblical. It's prophetic. We have to understand the times in which we are living in. Millions, July 18, 2016, millions of poultry, poultry, that's birds, dying from avian flu. A large number of sea birds washing up dead is alarming in Victoria, Canada. That's July 14, 2016. Over 40,000 birds dead. Avian flu, Friesland, Netherlands, July 13, 2016. There's more. Listen, this is a small list compared to the numbers that we have been given to you, again, with, you, know, with, you know, for the past few years. Now, I want to take you to the book of Hosea. You got, you, we, we just read Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. Actually, really, verse 1 through, what was it, chapter 1, verse 1 through 7. Now, let's read Hosea. Hosea chapter 4. Oh, dear. We're talking about last day's biblical prophecy, friends. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. For the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. Oh, this is the Lord speaking. By swearing and lying 
and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break all restraints. With bloodshed upon bloodshed, therefore, therefore, listen, because of this, because of the fact that there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, because of all the bloodshed, because of all the lying, because of all the swearing and stealing, he says, because of all this, therefore, are you guys reading along with me? Therefore, the land will mourn. I got headlines proving that. Therefore, the land will mourn. And everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beast of the field and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea will be taken away. What? <laughs> uh, you, that's why I said you got to read this for yourself. Because if you don't, you'd probably think that that's, that's come on, that's, that's coincidence. No, it's not. That's Bible. That's, that's biblical. That's prophetic. That's proof that we're living in the last days. That's proof that the day of the Lord is at hand. That's proof. And this will continue to happen until he comes. These mass animal dives are not going anywhere anytime soon. They're going to continue to happen until he comes. Now, what we need to do is understand the times in which we're living in. What we need to do is that, you know, if we're not saved, we need to get saved. If we're not born again, if, we, if our names are not written in the Lamb's book of life, we need to cry out to the Lord God right now and say, Jesus, save me. We don't have to, you know, become a church member. We don't have to, uh, you know, go to the pew, to the altar, and, and uh, confess our sins before a priest, before, you know, before a holy father. We, we, we don't really, it's, it's a right now situation. You have to give your life to Christ wherever you're at. You could be tuning in from a jail cell could be possible you could be tuning in on your way to work you could be tuning in on your way to a bar on a way to a, a nightclub a strip joint because you have to go to work come on it happens it's it's happened people have called me in these situations people have tuned in in these situations excuse me you could be on your way to do some kind of debaucherous sin you could be you could be lukewarm in your walk you have to give your life to christ you have to fully surrender your life now, not tomorrow, not next week, not when things are a little better, not when you get your act together. Right now, you got to come as you are. You got to come in your sin. You got to come in your bondage. You got to come in your regrets. You got to come in your shame. You got to come with all that baggage that's been weighing you down for years. Come as you are and literally cry out right now with me, right now. You got to cry out with me and say, Jesus, save me. Jesus, make me born again. Father God, they need you, Lord. Say, Jesus, make me born again. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Tell them. I need you, Lord. Tell them I need you to save me. Thank you. Say, I confess Jesus Christ as Lord.